Welcome home, lovely family of living light and everyone else who is interested in the Rainbow Crystal Garden. Here is a little introduction from the bottom of the little valley in the city. So here is the north city of Kassel. This street is called Quellhofstraße. And if you're here going by car to the bottom, you can enter the garden from another garden, what I just show you in a little while. And from the upper part, there is also the entrance. If you come with a car directly, it's easier to come to the garden from the upper part. So, yeah, if you arrive here, you can come with a bus or a train. There is a station called um, Hauptfriedhof, main cemetery. And then you walk to this Quellhofstraße and arrive on these containers for paper and glass. And if you see this corner with this funny new infrastructure of iron, <coughs> which is protecting the natural reserve here, <coughs> Uh, you will see the stream which you can follow on the left side and then up the hill then you find the Rainbow Crystal Garden and that's why I'm here at the moment because there is the water and there is a little forest and this forest is the best to find some wood here in the valley there's wood on the left and the right as well but the best to collect wood is when you follow this street up, there, you see that this street goes up a little and then more or less two, three hundred meters more, on the right hand side there's a little hill where there's lots of dry wood, but you can collect to feed the ovens or the main fire or whatever you feel like, or to warm yourself up. There is the beginning of this little valley, which is official under natural protection even though they're not really cleaning up here so much and here are wild herbs everywhere which you can see there for harvesting everything is full in the summer and the spring even in autumn of course in winter time so if you follow this little stream on the right hand side this goes along here and I go exceptional today here to show you the place where you can get the best water out of this little stream so here these leaves you can use as washing as well but they're not eatable they're poison but for washing like the chestnuts it's really nice to use them and as you see, the water is on the left side of me. And imagine that if it's raining down here, it's getting really, really dirty. Because, not really dirty, but let's say not as clean as it is usually. Uh, the stream comes out of the ground 200 meters from here. They're all gardens coming from left to right on these little hills. If it's raining, the rain washes all the water from the gardens into the water down here. So the best water you collect when it's not raining. And then I have my little spot here, as you can see. The best spot to collect it, at least at this part from the little stream. And the river is really, really small. But the water is drinkable like this. And I prove it by doing it myself. And the rest of the manual and instructions, or let's say the invitation with a little stuff I show you up there. Mm. So it's drinkable, still alive. And here you see these little stones down there. It's easier to put it up. And then here it's the deepest part. We can fill it up. 
easily enough to easy enough. This thing is very important. Maybe you're familiar about using water from a stream, you probably know it. If you're not familiar with it, I just tell you again that there is a best possibility to get the water from one side and then the bucket could be even placed here or somewhere that the running water is not getting polluted by the twists and turns what you do when you get it. So yeah, that's about the water. That was about the wood, even though if you find some wood here, it's not prohibited to collect it here as well. So I take you with me the little walk to the lower entrance and then I start the video up there again because we are carrying water and only an explaining center. It's a bit difficult. So this is the way which is going up from the stream, coming from the hill, from the right. We just saw that I stood and then we follow this little path. And this is my neighbor garden, which is open to at least cross, but not in your visit. But it, you can enter directly here if you like. But please uh, don't forget to close the little door again. Little children are playing inside. Like my daughters are here from time to time. It would be really nice that they can. So, yeah, here we can cross this little garden even together and then go on and explain it some. That's the Garden Eden, a friend of mine. She's taking care of this garden, as you can see. Lots of beautiful sights, even in autumn time. Like apples still laying around. If they are dry, are pretty easy and good to use for the compost toilet. There is one and a little shit pit on it. Lower part is possible to use as well, but let's say the best idea is to use the compost block, which I'm going to show you soon. So, here, welcome home again. We arrived in a ring of hookers to go. You see, there is the compost up there, there are the wagons, there is the pitching house, another pitching house, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So follow this path up the hill and to keep it short and not too long, these explanations. You see there, and this wagon, they're usually my daughters, and nobody is here from the Rainbow family, and now there's a new oven installation, which I have not yet finished, just started somehow to use the earth which is coming from this ground here. Really beautiful clay adobe earth to smooth and isolate a little bit this wagon. This wagon is called the Blue Turtle Cassiopeia, and this brown wagon is called the White Koala. I don't want to get too much in details because then watching a video of the guy talking the whole time is not as interesting as a guess for you. So this is the white koala where dry herbs and stuff are collected. There are washing knots. Here maximum four, four people can sleep, but there's no oven inside, but it's dry. And you can open up even the, the, the little 
window, the, the big front window, if you like. And if you want to open it up, I'll just show you how to do this, because if I'm not here, it's easier. Here's one, and here's one, and then you push it, and then it's open. And then you can see down there is laying a little stick in this iron holder, and this is to pick it up, which I'm not doing at the moment because then the video takes too long. Here in the upper part is a little X which is needed to close it again because the, as you can see there is a little gap which is not really closing itself and then I lift it up and push it up a little and I hope that it's gonna close. So if you use this white koala one day for making yourself a comfortable sleeping place then feel free to open it up with a key, which is reachable by just writing an email or whatever message. And I will answer it as possible, as soon as possible, to give you the key or Find. So yeah, here dry herbs. This is these are examples that you can use to smell a little, which is all collected here in the garden and around Mind and some artworks from a friend of mine, Jewelry, which he's selling here by corals and macrame, really nice works. This is from my neighbor. Really beautiful dream catches. So this is the white koala. And this is a little map where we can see that we came up from here from the Garden Eden and we are here the one the white koala now and the rest I'm gonna show you in a second. So welcome home everybody again. First place to sleep for maximum I would say ah. Three, four people. Dry, a little cold in winter, no oven, but yeah, it's possible. It's possible. So, three to four maximum, I would say, in this white koala sleeping options, and then closing, of course, if you're going one day. It's not necessary to say. So, yeah. And here's the apple tree where there's little <laughs> birds are flying around. And here is the table from inside for cooking. You have everything you need to prepare it in a big pot with chai or food. Some mattresses are for using. Here inside as well. There is the cleaning, um, like cleaning place. Really important to keep it as much uh, sober as possible. Because yeah, I don't like to clean up afterwards, of course. Even though I do regularly. So yeah, this is for cleaning. Mostly I use ashes if it's really hard to get it off. There is some ecological soap. Rub is, of course, self explainable. There, let's go in the water. We can even pluck it down there. And if it's raining, you collect the rainwater directly in the sink. And please, now in the second uh, wagon, um, if you're using this to sleep, it's Mm, only for two, maximum three people, um, because yeah, it's also the possibility to heat up and cook. This is the best option here with this oven because it's heating up really fast. And if you use this oven, please watch out that it's not going to burn anything here because this is the wagon of my daughter's. The blue. 
Cassie Fire hier it's called Villa Kunta Bund from Pippi Langstrom. But anyway, you see here is a little spot where even if you clean it a bit, one person could sleep and two people can sleep up here, maximum three I would say in the whole wagon. And the rest of the people can of course chill here what we done two times already the last two little micro gatherings new year last year and the year before so this is not isolated but it's warming up pretty quickly with this oven and um, it's dry so you can use this as a room to sleep for two three people in this little wagon for maximum four and here if you want to light a little fire to warm yourself up or to cook this is self-explainable because there are ashes but you can let the air can come up and here is it's a regulated oh, so and this is feeding hot here from the upper part and if this is hot the tool is laying here really to put down some wood inside which is collected as you know already from the other side of the hill which you can see over there there where the birds are flying at the moment there there is the talon graphic mast or whatever it's called and if you follow this road where we just came up, you came down here and then up here and go up there and you find the little forest for collecting wood on the other side of the hill. Yeah, uh, this is the second place to sleep here or to chill out. In the winter it's dry and warm at least. So one, a white koala, and a blue turtle here it's on this side to collect rainwater <coughs> there as well which is really easy to heat up and make some dishwashing with it so yeah here's the compost of the biological um, production of new earth so let's say please keep it in one spot at least if there are more people and then as you hear, there are cars passing by. Uh, I'm used to this in a city retreat. And a little bird is up there playing around. Here's the place to pee. As you can see, the place to pee is only for pee, not for shit. The place to pee. The old shit pit box is not in use anymore, but if you want to get it down somewhere, there's a bucket inside, which I used before for two years before this compost toilet was built and the bucket could be also chucked down on the hill I can show you how so place to pee only for liquids and the compost uh, toilet mostly only for dirt uh, I mean earth and uh, yeah as the compost toilet usually function it is something like a hole going directly onto the hill and here is the rainbow soap means ashes put some ashes on it at least one cup and if you like you can even put some other <coughs> leaves on the top but the most important that it's not stinking and that the flies are not coming is the ashes. And if it's full, this little hole, which you just saw, there is a shovel. And this shovel uh, you can use to put the shit a little further down from there whew, onto the hill for getting it spread out here. Bit by bit, it's gonna fill up the mountain where we just came up from. And so the shit pit is easy. Yeah, easy to use. 
uh, compost toilet. Sorry, not sheep pit. It's not a classical sheep pit. And not a classical compost toilet, but it's really convenient for me not to carry the bucket around every morning. Chuck some earth on the top. So if you follow the path up here, here in the Rainbow Crystal Garden, you see these two wagons. You saw the compost toilet and the place to pee. If you follow behind there, on the right hand side is someone living in the moment in the container. On the left hand side, if you go down a little, uh, there is a bus called Leonardo. A little bus where two people can sleep as well. I'm not going to show it because, I mean, it's nothing to explain. There's a bus without heating, but it's a place to sleep. A dry place for two people. So we have brothers and sisters four plus three, seven plus two in the bus, nine people, which are already in this part of the garden able to have a dry sleeping place and even three of them can warm themselves up with the oven. But even in the winter if it's dry it's not too cold if you have some clothes on and yeah, you know, some sleeping bags and stuff. Or tents. Yeah, tents could be put here, one or two maximum because it's not so easy to put tents up in this hilly infrastructure. As you can see there is the city, <laughs> not really important, but yeah, you can access everything what you are used to find in the city, like supermarkets, Turkish supermarket is right about the corner, it's really cheap and good. The wood from the other side of the hill, you want to dry it, there is an option, there is free storage for wood to dry, the best wood to burn in ovens is I think dried for at least one, better two or three years. But at the moment I'm not having so much wood which I could offer to you for burning because I was too lazy last year and could not collect as much as I wanted to. So yeah, there is the water coming down, a little apple tree um, when it's raining. This is the Yeah, that's where I'm living usually, but uh, what's it called again? I think we called it the Colorful Raven, yeah, the Colorful Raven. And as you can see here, is the main circle down there. The Colorful Raven I show you in a couple of minutes. The shower is not really existing, <laughs> it's now a bathtub. <laughs> the shower is up there, I can show it you as well. So first of all we are going down and then up again, and then we are ending, hopefully not too long, uh, time at the top part where the second entrance, the official entrance is from the other street. The first street down there was called Quellhof Straße and this is the Hebel H-E-B-B-E-L Hebel Straße and yeah here all the working tools you need if you want to work something in the garden like planting drilling holes for uh, a well or something else. You will find it here, there, is the first of these little cellars, <coughs> which are still under construction, as you can see. <coughs> and the last, the middle one is nothing special. And there is lots of work to do if you <laughs> want to have a look in the middle uh, part of from the cellar. Feel free, but it's not worth it. So here is the last part from the cellars. This is the cellar where usually the container dumps the dive food or harvested food is stored. So the food storage is always open easy to access and there is already the next garden which is not belonging to the Rainbow Crystal Garden as the first garden neither. This garden Eden which we just crossed is not 
official rainbow crystal garden as this one is existing since four years now I'm mostly living alone here but I'm really glad ah yeah if people are coming the family is anytime welcome as some of you already know as I just brushed my hair with this <coughs> by accident this you probably know as well is for cleaning up the oven it's really important if you use the ovens there are three of them one which I just showed you the second is up here with a chimney even and the third is down there at the red pigeon house um, this chimney cleaner is really important to use after the winter or even if you light the fire a bit more often um, we go down on the other side from the hill and there you can see some planting possibilities there and there and there is even a little house which we can visit a bit later when we come up again this is the white pigeon the white pigeon the white pigeon is a open library so here is a free shop giveaway or whatever you will call it and even a sleeping place where mattresses can be put in here this is for massage really good to lay down on this and have a stretched back even on the on the side here you find some clothes you can take as much as you feel like because these clothes and these books came all from someone from lots of people who were, were here sleeping most of the time for yeah some nights only here's a uh, whatever it's called in English again I forgot about it but you can sleep here as well it's dry mostly it's a bit fresh there is no oven installed yet I need to plug this oven on if you feel like working on it you can also find a good space to put the hole in the wall and plug it on now please be careful in, in lighting the fire inside of the rooms of course I hope all these watches are over 18 but anyways <laughs> um, yeah this is the white kitchen um, I, I would say three four like to say five people perhaps I would say four maximum it's getting too close there three four people can sleep there it's dry but um, as I said it's cold in the winter no oven inside and now we come to the last uh, one of the last uh, possibilities to sleep yeah, there are three more but anyways so we were there there the bus which I just explained that it's back there where you can sleep as well and now this is the red the red pigeon Outside in the fresh air, dry wood. So, yeah, if you come here, you get these garden key, which is for all the locks. So, that means if you have this key, you can open up the not all of them, but three of them. You can open up the what's it called? Uh, yeah, the blue wagon. Guess you buy the turtle children with the oven that is the key then from the colorful raven from the upper part same key here same key and there is open area anytime the white koala has its own lock but you will find the key where I put it in there so yeah here's an oven as well which I can show you oh, it's a bit dark inside I'm sorry normally inside I not using to have my shoes on this is easier to keep it clean a rainbow sister called Avalon Pleiades was so much into making art of this wonderful clay that she used the clay to make these beautiful windows to isolate this pigeon house thank you again for that yeah, beside of her, I think 
two, three other, perhaps five brothers and sisters were a short amount of time here. And they're warmly welcome to stay here even for longer because this is the only uh, place beside of the house up there, which is isolated, has an own oven, and is not used by my children so often. So if you feel like coming to this rainbow crystal garden and staying for a longer term, this could be your place to stay. It's not so easy to light up this oven, but some of them who lived here already got it, how it works. Here, you can open up this to make it a little softer. <laughs> it's needed a little oil. There comes the small wood inside, only really small is this. For opening up and closing it, it's usually here, This, is, which is also really hard to turn around at the moment because it's in use for a long time. And there, you need to regulate it a little with the air which flows through. Here, the chimney goes out, needs to be cleaned from the outside and separated first. So, yeah, there is also a little trick for the window which comes up here, and then you just need a stick. You put the stick there into the wood. And the branches of the tree will hold this window open if you need some air. Probably you need it when you're lighting up the oven because it's most of the time really smoky in the first place. But then it's going away. This window seems to look like the same, but it's not possible to open up. Yeah, for everyone who is here or up there and Enjoying the time in the Rainbow Crystal Gun, there is a little battery attached to the solar panel on this roof. It's a small 100 watt solar panel which is connected directly to the outside. As you can see, close up this again. Here it's full charge. The battery has 14.4 volts. That means we can easily plug in any type of USB driven. Um, electricity, um, electronic device, <laughs> yeah, so here are two USB plugs, which you can use even from the outside, like mobiles, even if they're not so often seen with the rainbow, luckily, but yeah, it's possible, there is one plug, or two plugs even. So, one, already 30 minutes, sorry to uh, keep you so long in this video. Okay, last but not least, on this uh, bottom part where the leaves are falling down in the autumn and the stream comes down here which is accessible from the best way, or you go through the other garden of the neighbor where nobody is usually. So, uh, as you can see, there's a little way. Here it's a bit difficult. So, things coming on in a while, but not anymore. There are the people leaving a shit in this wonderful surrounding that I so there is another way down to the river, as you can hear. And then we can come up here with the water buckets. And here. from the other side. Here's some construction wood and, and that's why I'm coming here. I would love to show you one little thing again. You see this chimney is really <coughs> upcycled and not professional built up there. But if you want to clean up this oven, please do it with two brothers and sisters at least. Separate two parts, 
one from the inside, one from the outside, clean it outside, and put it again together. This is necessary for this oven, like for the others, too, to keep them really working. Here's another compass toilet, but it's not in use, so you need a bucket, which is already in there. So, if you feel like not going up there every time, if you're having your tent down here, for example, which is a bad, really moisture area, but it's really nice, you can use a bucket, put it inside the toilet, some earth underneath, it's easier to clean it up, or some leaves, and make your big business or small business. Take the shovel with you, and the bucket, and then, you just go over here, through the <coughs> little, <coughs> little circle of these trees, which will be one day a little house. And then you arrive here where you see this bucket, and there is a little hill of earth already. So you take some earth from the part from this side from the hill. You leave your empty bucket with your new pure used earth um, here and put some earth with a shovel on top and bring it back down there. So yeah, this is the other side from the garden which we crossed in the beginning, the Garden Eden where we came up, but you can't come through here so they're separated. And even you can go through the upper part and the downer part, it's not possible. There, as I said, is a possibility to put a tent on this side or here even in this area. Another tent there could be two, three tents if you like, small ones at least. And here underneath the two tents here with the because there is a wooden structure, which oh, is not really a structure, but a little uh, yeah. wooden thing to protect you from the hole. Number one. And the hole number two I don't have to show. So these two holes are not yet drilled as deep as I would love to have them two years ago for getting some water out of the ground. The driller is up in the cellar so if you feel like drilling more than two and a half three meters which are already drilled you can try your best but um, I don't think that it's getting more deeper because the stone is too dense to break it so I don't know if this will be one day finished or not yeah, here we've been, there we've been sleeping places outside, inside, with oven, without oven. Now, if we go in this direction from the red pigeon, there you can see some mattresses which you can use. Dry wood would be nice if there comes new wood when you use some of this already dried wood. And here's the main circle, even if it's really small. This is uh, not yet perfectly built up like you know, the thick dome, which was the plan one day. But at least 20 or 30 brothers and sisters could enjoy here around the circle, the fire in the middle. And therefore there is a little iron thing what you can put here on the earth to keep the fire sacred and even protected from the surrounding, the surrounding protected from the fire. So if you feel like cleaning up a little here and weaving these together, like I do usually with other plants everywhere here, like not just with plants, as you see also with some of the um, trees, uh, feel free to, <laughs> to weave, to flatten all these um, trees or harvest white thorn and all the other herbs which are growing here in the garden. Oop. Here, the next um, 
infrastructure which is not really in use anymore as you can see is a little uh, earth oven which could be uh, renewed as well or yeah, repaired and stabilized this is not in use for two years I think and the big tippy is not anymore there it's just a pallet laying down there now the place is still there the flat place but the tippy I sold it's um, too wet this place everywhere is, uh, yeah. so much rain water coming down the hill that I could not keep it even not for summertime so this is the place where you could easily put up at least one or two tents in this area and harvest all the plants in any time of the year yeah and here underneath this apple tree if you can follow the little steps <laughs> the stairs are not really, uh, fixed yet but it's still possible to come up the hill and yeah as you see there are lots of berries ripe and fresh which are directly mm, eatable mm. and these I put uh, just in the same spot <laughs> they're not coming so um, spontaneous <laughs> out of everywhere if they're doing this. yeah and here is the next part where you could sleep or even not sleep but plant some stuff and all these snails which are crawling around and eating most of these veggies mostly so here this is a greenhouse where nothing at the moment is on so if you feel like using it as a sleeping place you can put these wood from down there here over the over the middle part and you will be able to sleep there mostly dry beside of one spot where it's dropping in exactly in the pot from the rain for the rain rainwater to yeah uh, it doesn't matter so this is a spot mostly for plants not for sleeping but you can use it as well yeah coming up again and finally to the last two three bits of this mm. there as you can see I was not able this year to get all of them back from the from this stairs up so if you feel like <laughs> weaving them a bit back instead of cutting them you can do that if you don't see this as a job you don't have to do anything at all but this I'm not gonna do this year I'm too lazy with all of these uh, wonderful plants to keep them together so yeah as we pass here you see there was a plant this here was used for some CBD grass from a friend of mine this spot yeah and now we are back here uh, the red pigeon the white pigeon and the downer part are located there is water which is usually not drinkable because it's standing here for a long time but uh, for cleaning up uh, dishes or anything it is perfect so there's a rainwater tank, like up there, beside the wagons, as you could see before. So, yeah, now we're going up to whoa, the last bit of all. Thank you again for painting it with me, lovely brothers and sisters who did this last time. 
it was a really wonderful art performance what we did together for getting that a little sweeter than before and you see job it's yours yeah it's a bit cryptic i know but at least it's now wonderful colorful uh, yeah here beside of the main circle it's possible to make a fire for the new year micro gathering most of the time i would prefer that you using only the wood from the forest down in the main circle because um, the smoke is not going so much into the area of the neighbors where you can see there the little raven and a crawl on the top of the building and directly neighbors which are complaining sometimes but if they're complaining you can be really friendly to them and tell them that it's not a long-term uh, pollution of the air like the cars are in the city and if even uh, the police is coming uh, they're not allowed to enter you can tell them <coughs> rainbow families anytime welcome and mobile uh, if they're not here um, is okay with this to keep all the uh, uniformed people out of this garden here you see what I just mentioned down at the main circle. You can have this transportable thing even there, all down there to light a fire and the ashes are collected usually for the compost toilet, dry ashes and for soap, as you know, as Rainbow Family probably. Um, there is construction sites like everywhere. And there are construction sites, there is coming the water and it's running down here so now we're going into uh, my little retreat and this of my daughters so to keep it short and simple all these are materials to use even this one there are some introductions in German language if you like to build some stuff here then there is a book about plants and there is a book about plants um, if you want to read something or learn something new as I do nearly every week or every month when I do some research here in the garden which I don't know so much plants yet and yeah, dream, share, create, celebrate, contemplate. This is something like dragon dreaming inside of here and down there and everywhere. So there are tools as well. You can use these tools. You can use nails and screws and hammer. And as you see, there's a saw. There's, a, there's another saw which is not working really good. Then we have one bottle for this little logo, which is also portable. That means if you want to use one bottle without using so much of the wood for cooking you can use this also in other locations because here is the the big oven even with a real oven inside and therefore it's not just needed to refill one or two bottles because i couldn't refill them at the moment they are both empty so there are three gas bottles one is left from a friend and the others are mine so you can go anywhere to a gasoline station or wherever you find these bottles and renew them plug them carefully and use these two ovens even if you don't want to cook on fire or parallel for more people um, yeah there are not big pots but there are pans and a little smaller stuff this is like coffee machines and uh, a little sink which is going directly also out where the water I just uh, still nah, the water is outside probably the most it's better to keep the cleaning place when lots of people is outside and if there are just a small amount of brothers and sisters coming in then we have like separated bathrooms or water access it's really nice 
to have each one its own water and then we can even share it, of course, together. So as I see, it's nearly an hour that I talk around here again. I'm sorry that it's taking so long time, but I'm really happy uh, that I can explain everything that, mm, yeah, everyone can uh, see this without me being here telling it thousands of thousands of times because I told this what is happening here to lots of brothers and sisters in the last four years and I'm really happy if they are coming to this garden even if it's not crystal land but this um, little spot beside of the city to enjoy it even if I'm not there so that's why I'm doing this little introduction <laughs> long introduction and video about it. Here is a second um, solar panel with a battery but at the moment the plug is not functioning unfortunately. I don't know if I'm gonna arrange this here again. This plug or not. There's a little infrastructure for a bucket showering like downstairs as you saw in the pigeon house. It's, it's possible to warm up some water and make bucket showers but please watch out that there is down here and also in the pigeon house down where we were before some tubes which needed to be put outside first <laughs> then the water is running re really not just into the bathtub but also then <coughs> into the nature afterwards like down into the ground and not into the house, of course not. So, yeah, if you want to shower downstairs or here, you need to warm up some uh, bucket and then you have the plug up here. This is the plug. This plug you can easily twist on it. And then you have the adapter for the shower. Yeah, come in uh, here, this is the plug which is just functioning for this little blogger. So here you see uh, uh, usually a cigarette and lighter here. This is uh, just only working with this at the moment with the usual tool which I use for the USB. It's not working at the moment so I use the USB plug downstairs and this is only for the laptop to use and there is some light if the sun was shining enough. If there is no sunshine, there is no light beside of the good candlelight, which is even a little um, softer. Last but not least, here is my sleeping room. If I'm not here, of course, people are welcome to sleep here as well. But um, I would really appreciate it if uh, in more or less all the inside rooms the shoes are left outside in front of the door because then I don't have to clean up so much or you don't have to clean up so much if you are using it. So here's an oven too. To show it shortly you go up to the roof if you want to clean it but it's not so often necessary just once a year it's enough. So the cleaning process is one, the other is here. There, you start the fire inside. And the grip is only to get some, some air really fast inside. But if you want to keep it on and uh, don't want to have so much smoke in here, you put this in front and then you leave this open or you close it a little bit as far as you like. So it's self explanatory so There. I just close this part because I'm alone. Usually this is open. That's not going to be burned from the from the hot oven chimney. So here is the sleeping room for at least uh, let's say two, three, four people, I would say, because too much weight should not be applied to this house because the construction underneath is not yet so good as it could be one day. So yeah, this is uh, the children's and uh, sleeping room for, let's say, 
maximum five people or six, but six is is not. Yeah, it's possible, but I would say it's good if it's not too heavy underneath. <coughs> The cellar, which is not yet finished. So yeah, as you see, there is the kitchen house, the red one, the white one, and the wagons are up there. And now we are nearly finished with this excursion and the introduction. If you want to go up to the roof, then you need to go behind the house and up the roof and carefully, because it's really slippy and it's going five meters down here. Um, if you want to clean something, whoa, something like this, but you don't have to clean everything. I hope it's as clean as it is, as it was before. Something more, something like this. At least everyone is feeling welcome and at home. So here it's really cold at night. That's why I put these two blankets in front of, but you can open up these blankets if there are more than one person coming and then I would suggest to get this uh, mattress into one of the pigeon uh, the upper pigeon house and to the wagon which I will put there then there are also really um, good mattresses if you feel like sleeping not with this small and stuff. So yeah, these are the two rooms of the colorful raving where also people can sleep. And ah yeah, and the sink has no um, plug, so please don't use the sink inside because there is no uh, bucket underneath, but you will find it. So yeah, this is also open and with the key which I give you if you let me know you can open up there and everywhere where we just were including the bus the only exception where you can't go in is this little house from a friend who helped me building all these wonderful wagons together um, and I uh, can contact him in forehand hopefully for the micro gathering every year at New Year for one week or longer uh, he's offering me the key that one person at least could sleep in here as you can see it's wonderfully made and also dry so there's a dry sleeping space as far as I can ask him for a key uh, this sign is pointing into the wrong direction, like the shower place to pee is there and not there. But anyways, I hope that you had a little longer one hour introduction and find everything what you need to find in this garden. So last but not least, this is the entrance. As I was telling you before, the entrance from the lower part is through the uh, garden from the neighbor and the official entrance is here now the trick how to open this official gate is you come with your hand and your arm over and you push inside here with your finger with this no. and you will not to hurt yourself and then you can open up the gate and then you can even for wood or for any other stuff what you want to transport you can easily come in here, but not easily coming out again because it's really slippery. So I wouldn't suggest to park inside of here. But to, to one wagon, if someone wants to stay here for longer, it's possible to use this as well as sleeping place up here. There is wood, which I would like to keep a little drier, even this wood is not dried as long as it should be dried for the next winter so 2021 this all this wood is going to be dry enough for the ovens yeah that's about it one hour so feel free welcome home anytime namaste i love you family and Lokotopia. here is the Herald street you can park up there 
Yeah, please. Talk up there. This is private. So this is from the neighbors. This is from the neighbors. So if you want to park your car, it's possible down in the valley and you go up from the valley. And the little stream is really nice to park if you have a van where you can sleep in. But if you just have a car which you want to park on the left hand side up the street, there are a lot of parking places which are for free. Yeah, exactly where this car is going to. So, yeah, that's about it. That's the Hubble Street in autumn. My neighbors in um, the Rainbow Crystal Garden in Kassel. See you in five. I love you, family.